So, okay, we're doing a lot of stuff for the Peacekeepers currently. And like in old Villador, I feel like it was like mainly the survivors and now it's the Peacekeepers that are like mostly run the town. I don't think I've seen like any survivors. So like now I kind of want to choose the Peacekeepers because of this place. And old Villador was just like a linked other side. Like that's it. Well, maybe now that I'm helping, they'll be like, hey, this guy's actually kind of cool. He helped us do this and that and this and also this. We should cut him some slack and uh, forget about the windmill that he blew up. Come on. You can, you can let that one slide, right? It's easy. Can I help you? Matt told me to see you. Yes, he wanted me to give you this. A little reward for helping us peacekeepers. A UV flashlight could come in handy. Thanks. We said something about a plan. The VNC tower. Now that the lights are on, we can use the TV antenna to broadcast our call for mobilization. But first, we need to get to the top. And that's a long road. What do you want to know? Tell me more about this radio station on the tower. It's the tallest building in Villador. It was once a symbol of the city's greatness. Now, a symbol of its fall. Why do you say that? That antenna could bring the city together once more. But anyone who goes up there trying to fire it up, guess what happens? Nothing good, I bet. Damn right. The city's potential shining beacon is a death trap. We're hoping it'll be different this time. We're gonna light it up with UV lamps. Who was your father? A hero of some kind? Oh, this again? Since you're new here, I'll tell you the short version. Classic story. Saved a bunch of its fellow soldiers. Got a medal. Who was this? Long time ago. Back when people were only fighting each other and not each other and the infected at the same time. Interesting. Better get back to the plan though, right? Right. Okay. Let's get going. Are the lights in place? They would be, if Juan from Supplies would just do his job for once. I take it that he didn't. He's been playing hide-and-seek the last few days, and he's late. Getting on my nerves. So look in on Juan first, see what his deal is. And when you do find him, kick him in the ass. Tell him it's from me. You can go now. Thank you. That's kind of funny, I don't think I've ever heard them like dismiss you like that. But nice, we got a UV flashlight. Excellent. Uh, you will receive a UV flash that allows you to repel and weaken all infected, especially my resident. <sighs> Can I use this on myself? Can I, like, shine it on my face and then the, the zombification will go away? Because that'd be pretty useful, honestly. Don't gotta use the mushrooms, just gotta turn it up for like a second and then boom, I'm fine. It's urgent. The commander sent me. So Monsieur Jacques sends you? Jacques? Jacques Matt. Monsieur Reyna is not here. I can take a message. No, I need to talk to him in person. Where is he? Unfortunately, I can't help. Monsieur Reyna's whereabouts are no one's business. Wait if he must. Anything else? Now wait, but you're no fun. What about your boss? What's he do for fun? Monsieur Reyna is well known as a connoisseur of the finer things in life. Food, drink, and pretty much anything that walks on two legs. Is he near any of these so-called finer things right now? Maybe I can drop in on him there. I try, but no. I won't say. Matt's not gonna be happy. Juan is not particularly concerned with the little major's feelings. Do come again. It sounds like he's like out back or something. Juan? Aiden. Getting settled in the city? Working on it. Meyer and Jack sent me to supply. Interesting bunch. Not like any of the other PKs I've met. That might be because they're not PKs, Eagle Eye. Business is their true faith. I see. Anyway, I can't track down their boss. 
Juan? He likes to make himself scarce. Probably lurking around the fisheye. The canteen? The slick bastard's even got his own table there. Bribes the cook to bring him off-menu goods. He lives like the fall never took place. I'll look for him there. Good luck finding him. And good luck if you do find him. Uh-oh. Must be an interesting individual if I need luck to be able to talk to him. Um, once we do this, though, I think we'll be able to get some information and see if we can finally get dang, done with this dang job, and then boom. It's just, I'm so worried about Ador. He's gonna wake up. Oh, now I gotta walk down this long hallway without being able to run. But you can run in, in areas. But then, I don't know, I might mess with something. I keep yawning. <clears throat> Alright, am I free yet? Come on, let me run. I want to be free! Woo! Okay. The heck is this guy's name? Heel! <laughs> Listen, I'll come back for you. I gotta do the James Time special on you and be like, I'll deal with you next episode. Alright, let's see if this bolt is again any good. Oh! I don't even know if I was using it, but it kind of seemed like I was. Um, see if we can hop this. Boom. I bet you can get some super cool, like, little jumps. So, I have a frost weapon, right? I'm just wondering, like, what the heck does it use? I don't know. Oh, oh, oh. I missed the damn bar. It's okay, we're about to be here anyway. Let me just take that and... Oh yeah, it kind of just look like it does something to them. It must slow them down if you slap them with it. Should I do it, boys? Never with you, you goddamn. We'll be here until you let us help. Oh, apparently she's made out of steel, I guess. Guys, <laughs> just hop up. How far are we looking? Okay, I think we're right here. Oh yeah, we're coming back to the fish eye. Um, okay, yeah, we're getting close. Can't make that. Alright, see if I can make this jump with the bolt. Oh, I went away right at the last second. Oh, it's a jolt, actually, not a bolt. Winch up. So it seems like the main enemy of this place are the renegades. Before it was mostly zombies and some PKs, but the renegades came and then they left and they came back. And now they're the main dang enemy. You Juan? Juan Rainer. You lost man? We didn't call for a waiter. I've got orders to find you from Meyer and the commander. And my name's I know who you are, Aiden. After that bang up with the renegades, half the canteen wants to name their most precious offspring after you. Including Vinny here. But you interrupted our meal. State your purpose in one sentence, then please make yourself scarce. Well, you know perfectly well why I'm here. The UV lamps. Meyer says you owe the peacekeepers a delivery. And you think your barking will make an impression on me? The Lummox and Chief Jack thinks he can scent his terrier, and everyone will wet themselves in terror. But what can I expect? He can't tell the difference between champagne and a crystal chalice, or water from a dog's bowl. He has an ounce of refinement. Isn't that right, Vinny? I don't know. Don't be afraid. 
It's not like Jack is gonna march in and have you hanged. At least not now. Uh... Ah, oh, Vinny. When will you grow a spine? You want my attention, Aiden? Show me you deserve it. What can you offer me? Look, I could help you out as easily as I'm trying to help Matt. I don't doubt that. I've heard you were a pilgrim. But you're new here. Smashing the skulls of a few peasants doesn't mean everyone wants to lift you up on their backs. You have to be more subtle with people. Everyone has their own desire, their, their own price. Your pitch just isn't working for me quite yet. Try again. Mm -hmm. All right, listen, I'm just trying to help. I, I need those lamps. <laughs> so the groveling and begging begins. My favorite part. Do you really need him? Or oh, Jack? What'd he promise you? Look, you were supposed to deliver, and I was asked to make sure you do. And how do you expect to do that? Maybe bat your pretty eyelashes at me? I'm not saying you're not my type, because you are. But I need a reason to break Vinny's heart for someone else. So you have to try harder. Okay. Uh, okay. I'll kill you. You've used up all your time. Didn't pique my interest. But what is it you want, Juan? <sighs> like they used to say, if you gotta ask the price, you can't afford it. That is not a good thing to say. What? That is stupid. Oh my God! I'll kill you. Never met a guy quite like him before. I told you. Come see me back at my place. We'll talk. Okay, that freaking metaphor analogy thing doesn't make any sense. I'm pretty sure Jeff Bezos was like, "Hey, how much does this uh, car cost?" And they're like, "Oh, this much." He's like, "Okay, I'll get it." Come on, that was stupid. I'll smack you in the face. Let me guess. He scarfed down five horses and had a hot young woman at his side. A young man, but the rest is accurate. He's a piece of work, all right. But I need him to get back to work. Jack needs UV lamps and Juan's dragging his feet. Hmm, that'll be tough. Juan barely listens to Jack, so he'll be an even tougher audience for you. He has his own men and power base and he loves rubbing Jack's nose in that. And what can I do about that? Same as everyone else. Bribe him. He likes fine art, antiques, expensive shit from before the fall. When he sees something that used to be valuable, he can't stop himself. Zero self-control. Hmm. All right, where can I find something like that? I heard of an old Polish guy who lived in a penthouse by Liberation Passage. They say he was an art collector. You can try his place. You can only get there via paraglider. That's why there's a chance something's left. I'll be on the radio and guide you to him. What about you, huh? Going on a hunt? <laughs> no, a party. It's Daniel's birthday, but you never know when a guest list will overlap with a hit list. Why don't you come and have a drink with us when you're done with one? I don't think Daniel likes me. <laughs> he doesn't like anybody. We'll be in touch. Oh, brother. The, the freaking thing I hate the most. <clears throat> bribing someone. Nah, bro. I just smack that UV lamps out of him or something. Come on. Whatever. It's fine. We'll do it. Just gotta hurry the heck up, though. Let's see. We can only get here by paraglider, which is kind of cool. Oh, I did that kind of wrong. And, hup. Okay. I don't know what I can find to be able to give him. Whatever it is, it's got to be at least decently cool. I wish he won't be up for it. Uh, ooh, launch pad, launch pad. So how do these work? Well, I can just do that with my, um, my double jump when I use a guy to run. Oh, but that's kind of nice, actually, right there. Ooh, ooh, oh, of course. Come on, I missed a dang jump. So sad when I die like that. Can you hurry up? Thank you. And there's a weird glitch, and we're back. All right. 
Uh, for some reason it uses more stamina when it- uh oh. It uses more stamina when you are falling for a couple of seconds and then you, um, let go. Or you use the paraglider. I guess we'll use this. Yeah, that took off a big chunk of my stamina. Okay. Ooh, I missed it. And come on, grab the ledge. Yes. Excellent. Okay, apparently I can't make it up there. Did that guy suddenly said there about the bazaar? Hey. I am so sorry, sir. I... Are you okay? It was... <laughs> it was too perfect! I'm sorry, guys. I didn't mean to do that to your friend. He was just there too perfectly! <laughs> Ah! Oh, sorry. Get out of the way, man. See if I can do this right. Oh, I'm already using it. Ooh, heck yeah. He looked like Humpty Dumpty sitting on the freaking side of the wall, and I accidentally... Well, I didn't accidentally kick him. I just really wanted to kick him, because he was just... He was like a sitting duck, man. I couldn't resist. <laughs> no self-control. Okay, Night Runners hide out, blah blah blah. Oh wait, I hear bees. Ooh, gimme. Any more? Nope. Okay. I didn't think I was gonna make that, honestly. So I gotta get up there. But how? She said it's only available through paragliders, so now I'm kinda scared. Hmm. Maybe... No. Get the heck out of here. Right, I'm gonna jump over here. Get a better look at the building. <sighs> you guys gotta stop sitting on those things. I can't help it. Okay, what are we... <laughs> oh yeah, he's dead. I was hoping maybe like it was too short or something. Okay, this is a really tall building. I don't really know how we we're supposed to do this exactly. Let's see. Nope, I'm pretty sure we're supposed to use one of these zip lines to help us out. One thing I can think of. Uh oh. Oh. Nope, I didn't. I wasn't fast enough. I wasn't quick enough. I almost did it, but I didn't do it. Damn it. Please. I don't think. Okay. I was telling me about that skill that helps you, like, survive high falls. Pretty sure if, even if I had that, I would have died. Pretty sure. Could be mistaken, but that's just what I think. I didn't mean to take this. Okay, so I'm pretty sure we, we had to... We gotta... Hop over this first, and then... Use one of the zip lines to be able to make our way... To a higher point... But now I have to go all the way up there. Okay. We got a picker up right here. We can use this. Okay, that didn't really work out. Hop. All right, what are we chill? What are we looking at? Oh wait, maybe we're supposed to keep on using these. They all lead to one. Okay, we'll take a drop off right here. Um, okay, there's one right there. You there yet? Uh, not yet. I've reached the building, but how did you say I should get to the top? Use a vent. There should be one on the roof. When you get there, stand on it, jump, and open your paraglider. Easy. That sounds sketchy. Name the last non-sketchy thing you've done running around this town. Touche. Okay. Uh, oh wait. Oh yeah, there's a vent right here. I was gonna say, I can hear one, and it's right here. So, just hop up. Uh, can I make that? 
Might actually be able to. Nope. I failed. Alright, let's try up here then. Oh wait, actually we think we're fine if we land right here. Right? Oh my god, it's like a floor above me. Can't see a dang thing. Hmm. Oh, here we go. And we are up. Any fine art things? Plumber's hammer. Plumber was doing his job right after, right before the dang outbreak. Ooh, I found a, I found a tape. You want that? You can listen to some tunes. Ooh, what is this? The one? There's nothing left in here. Daniel said it's a virgin spot. Keep looking. Well, I mean, there used to be a painting right here, I think. Yeah, there used to be a ton of paintings. I swear it was telling me to look at something, but now it's gone. Hmm. Maybe you just up here. Ooh. We took these paintings, but no room for Jessica. <laughs> One romantic son of a bitch. Wow. Oh, so this is Juan's apartment. I only just realized that. Wow. I mean, there's tons of these. We can use this. Took all of his dang paintings. There's gotta be one that he left, though, right? I don't see anything. I'm gonna use your TV for lev for freaking. Can I not get up there? Let's try that again. Okay, I don't know how I managed to get up there like that, but it worked out. Oh, lockpick. Easy. That was kind of funny. I was just saying easy because it was going to be easy, but then it was actually easy. Nope, nope, nope. Messed up too many times. There we go. You got. You had to have left something around here, man. Don't tell me. Am I looking in the wrong spot? You got a helipad up here? Oh, I think that might just be the complex. Also, my voice went out. Um, I already saw that. A list of what he took, it seems. Juan would be pleased. Juan, I think I found his stash. A helicopter was coming for this guy. They sent everything to the roof. I'm headed there to look. Good luck. I was just up there. I didn't see nothing. Hup. Maybe I didn't look hard enough. Maybe you got it over here somewhere. Nope. left everything's been destroyed the one found our collector but no sign of his collection the one hey you there jesus aiden i told you i was leaving okay quick thing nothing here except for a bottle of whiskey and one of vodka at least the whiskey's the good stuff juan likes a good whiskey maybe if you get him shit faced he'll loosen up so to speak He's still in the canteen? I saw him leaving. Seemed to be heading back to the ship. Probably to his quarters. Okay. I'll go there. And listen. Oh, that's so that far. Danier is a big fan. If you're planning to drop by, which you probably are. Yeah. But if you really want to get to know this city, this is the way. Just saying. Go, go, go. go. What's happening? Why is there scary music? Uh, 
Talk to Juan, attend Daniel's party. Optional. Uh, I don't know. I guess I may as well do the optional part. Woo! Actually, which one's closer? Uh, okay, yeah, we'll go to the party. Have some fun with my buds. Uh, uh oh. Okay. Oh, nice. That was pretty perfect, actually. Landed down right where I wanted to so I can get another boost. Okay, almost there. Come on, I gotta get to this party! Can we get this? Can we get this? Can we get this? Ooh, nice. Just barely got it. You have one new voice message. I saw that twice. What is this? Ooh, that is very... Okay, hold on. Give me a second. I don't know if this is going to work for sure, but I want to try it. Whoops. Did that work? It didn't. Okay, let's see if we can just go in there, smack it, and then leave. Get pranked! It didn't go off, did it? Oh, come on! Leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone. Just just turn it on. There, I got it! Woo! Yeah! What? Are you excited? There goes another one. Alright, we gotta go. I, they keep on going off. So many around here. Gotta go, gotta go. Who are you? I'm gonna. Oh no, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. <sighs> Sorry. Listen, you're okay, right? No, you're dead. My bad, man. At least no one cares. Alright, let's make our way up. God, when they're just sitting there, it's so hard not to kick them. Really hope I'm not losing anything from doing that, though. Woo! This is made for parkour. Alright, man.